Alright, this is how I recycle lipo cells. <clears throat> Start with a knife that you don't care too much about. Sorry Nick, it is the Leatherman. Um, take your lipo cell. Kind of fold the tabs out a bit. Cut it like that. There. There. Peel the foil back. Rip it off. In that. Now, it's tempting to get carried away here, but what you've got to remember is there might still be some charge here and you get sparks and fire. So, kind of tear off the big connection between all of the leaves and then you can unravel the whole lot. <coughs> and it's easier if you unravel it in a particular way. Usually work out what that way is after you've started unraveling it and you kind of go with it. But you want it to be as clean as possible. And in this case we've got all of the copper on the top and all of the aluminium foil on the bottom. And sometimes you can get pretty nifty at it. I'm putting all the aluminium in this tin and all the copper in a pile there. And uh, basically just go about separating the two layers. Make sure you don't get them mixed up like I almost did. Not that it matters, it's just a pain to have to sift through it again. Now, if there's still any charge left on the cell, it will be manifest in the copper when you create a nice, neat pile of it. And you press down on it, like that, and you can feel a bit of warmth. That's any residual charge that's being held in the uh, graphite and graphene uh, layer. But try not to do that if you can help it. But in any case, I'm going to get rid of all of the surface of these leaves of metal. The aluminium as a metal is not all that valuable. But the lithium cobalt oxide that's plated on it and bound up with a plastic polymer type thing is valuable. So in another video I'll show you how I recycle that. Because copper's worth money. So is cobalt too, but not everyone recycles it. You got, like me and you've got a stack of old lipo cells that have just sat around doing nothing or you got bored and you decided to abuse them then you might as well recycle them I mean we dug them up from the earth it took a huge amount of effort and energy you had a bit of fun with your radio control car or your e-bike and you forgot to charge it and it all failed well that was a terrible waste of resources wasn't it so my advice is, always recycle. It's the absolute least you can do. Now these old cells were Turnigy uh, 5800 milliamp hour cells, 20C. Realistically more like about 10C. Capacity wasn't great. Cycle life, um, don't really know because I never really used them all that much. But they're just taking up space in my workshop now, so I thought if I can't really use them for anything, I might as well recycle them. Um, normally a bit quicker at this, but I haven't done it for a while, so I haven't got my eye in for it. But I think I got it down to about five minutes per cell. That's not too bad, provided you don't have a stack of a thousand of them. And if you do, you've done something terribly wrong to your battery pack.
polythene layer that goes between all of the leaves. Um, it is conceivably recyclable, but I don't know anyone who recycles low-density polyethylene. Um, sadly, this will just end up in landfill because the Albany City Council doesn't manage that kind of material. But, uh, in any case... I'll wash, I'll wash all of this lithium cobalt oxide and binder off with a special solvent and likewise with the copper leaves but for now I'm just putting them all in a pile and hoping they don't catch fire so that's how we cut open a lipo cell and recycle it